And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Heimer Zoe Pursuit. That's right, we're going to be playing um, a crazy deck over in Ranked where we got PNC, we got Targon, we got lots of creative cards because we are going for the Pursuit of Perfection. We need to play uh, 20 cards with different names to be able to play this 5 mana slow sp spell and get a 30-30 Catastrophe. That'll be awesome if we get to pull it off. I sure hope we do. But we're going to be playing two really good champions with Heimerdinger and Zoe. And just a whole bunch of pretty good spells. You can see we basically got two ofs of everything in here. Um, and it looks pretty neat. It looks pretty neat. We have like a suit up in here for protection. We can have suit up on Zoe. That could be really cool. But even just like suit up on Heimerdinger can help save it just a little bit. We'll have like Pill Cascade also help save and stuff. Um, you know, good removal with Aftershock, Static Shock, no Mystic Shot, but maybe we get Mystic Shot from Trail of Evidence. That could be nice, but, you know, we have those kind of cards, Trail of Evidence, Flash of Brilliance, a lot of the cards that can just, like, make other cards and stuff, so looks pretty exciting, looks pretty cool. Let's go try it out in Ranked. Here we go, we'll go play our five games. Ooh, playing against D. All right, I'm going to get this prediction going. All right, well, this looks like a good hand. We don't need the Static Shock, but you know, I like I like the start with these two. And then Rummage is also pretty good. All right, so now our next draw is gonna be Suit Up. That's how it works. Because we're gonna like attack with Zoe on turn two. They're gonna try to Vile Feast Zoe. And then we're gonna play Suit Up. Yeah, I, I'm a big fan of this new board. Music's awesome. Earth is awesome. There we go. Alright, so no Vile Feast. No, bits... Uh, bits they do not take a percentage of. Donations, I get like... I don't know, 85-90% of the donation. If you donate through... Uh, you know, through Streamlabs, because then PayPal takes the rest. But bits cost more to purchase, and so I get 100% of the bits. If you cheer, like, uh, somebody's paying a fee either way. So donation, I pay the fee. Bits, you pay the fee. Let's go with this Trail of Evidence. Let's just kind of see what's up. Flame Chompers? That card's pretty bad. I think I'm going to rummage that away. And that's just good deck building. this moon silver i mean i guess i could go with the moon glow to try to protect zoe no we could just go because like if they have something that kills the zoe right now anyway that'll just be a wasted moon glow i'm gonna just go with the moon silver because we just want to play a lot of spells if possible right like we we have a lot of things to play so we're gonna need more mana It's like that, like they're going to get like a 2-1 challenger and challenge Zoe, but I will uh, static shock it down. Alright, so Zoe's at 5, and we can, the moon silver can be like a surprise as well. Merb! Aw, oh, thank you Merb. Whoa, $25! Dude, that's incredible. That's the biggest donation I've gotten in a long, long time. That is so nice. Thank you, Merb. Everybody get some hype in the chat for that donation. That's incredible. You know, let's go here, here. I just made my day. Thank you, thank you Merb. I, I really, really do appreciate that. Okay, 
three, four, five, six. What? Yo! Dude, Mervin is the best person ever. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mervin, thank you so much. Giving everybody subs. Let's just put a two in front. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Mervin. Yes, I'm sorry, Zoe. <laughs> we had some hype over here. All right, so we're gonna have we're gonna have some some hype votes for sure. Okay, so we're gonna go. I'm gonna pass. All right, so we're gonna just pass. I don't really like any play. Maybe like they can. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm letting them not attack. They want to pass also. Okay. I was gonna say if they want to pass also, they would have been able to have me burn a card because I have ten cards in hand. They did not go for that, though. I was hoping they wouldn't. I'm going down to 10. Oh, there you go. Oh, well, that's that's awesome. Okay, so Twitch was running a promotion on on Amazon with discounted gifted subs. And well, that's that's still that is absolutely incredible. Thank you so much, Mervin. So Mervin just gifted out 20 subscribers, so we're going to be getting those hype boats in here. I think I'm just going to burn my top card, honestly. I think I really want to just keep this two spell mana, and I'm just going to burn my top card. Because I don't want to play... So, I know you're like, well, why don't you just play Moonsilver right now? Alright, that's fine. That's good, because now we don't have to burn the top card, because now we won't make an ignition. Because I want, uh, ooh, I want to be able to play the zero cost thing after Heimerdinger, so I can make turrets. Because I'm going to go wide. I'm going to be go. I'm going to be making three turrets this turn. Yeah, who needs Jettison when you just have Triple C Scarab? Okay, so we're going to start with Flash of Brilliance. And fire! So that's nine. Let's make, I don't know, any of these cost one less? Doesn't really matter. This one. All right, I'm gonna kill this Maokai. We're gonna have, like, if we find Pursuit of Perfection, we're gonna have 20 cards with different names fairly easily. All right, maybe I should kill these five sixes. Played against a deep tech in expeditions yesterday that managed to absolutely stop me. <laughs> yeah, Maokai clutched the game. Yeah, deep can be really good in expedition when you start with only 30 cards instead of starting 40. It's real easy to go deep. Living Legends is the best one of these, but it's going to be hard for me to refill my hand. I'm just going to take it. We just don't need those other two cards at all. Because I, I have blockers for days. I'm really glad they didn't get the Fearsome one. That was the one I was super scared of if they got fearsome sea monster. Uh, 
Okay, so just you can block there, you can block here, you can block uh, there, you can block there. I'm just blocking here to kill, to have mine die. I want these all to die because I need more room. Alright, where are we going to start? Super cool star chart. Trail of evidence. I guess I could have waited on that. No! Um, I need to... Hill Cascade. And... Hush. So this turret will level up Heimer. Take from the rich, give to me. Alright, so we got both of our champions leveled up. For elusive. I could use the Hextech Transmogulator for elusive as well, but it's not exactly what I want to do there. Hmm. I do have the backup Heimer. We'll just do this. We're going to turn their 7 7 into a 2 1, and then it won't eat my Heimer anymore. Oh, they had the Vile Feast. I even thought about that of like. It would have been a lot safer for me to go with my 2 1 tough, but I was just greedy. Alright, well, that, that's probably going to cost me this. Well, I mean, it may. That, yeah, that was a bad decision. Alright, bad decision by me. Do they, like, have spells left in their deck for me to pickpocket? Oh, they do. Atrocity. That's the good news. The bad news is they still have Atrocity in their deck. Um, that thing seems big. This, is, this looks like a good card, too, Atrocity. Okay. Walk, 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 walk. Take one. Nah, we, we don't have to take one. We can block. I know I'm not killing this. I know I could I could kill that, but I, I don't really want to kill it. Killing it just lets them toss. Cool. They already tossed the atrocity anyway. Just frees up spots on their board. Play other things too. Well, I think I go. Do I just play Great Beyond this turn? And then next turn. I don't think they're going to kill me right here. So they've tossed two atrocities now, I'm pretty sure. So even like Nautilus and then Riptide, you know, like we have that covered. They'd have to play like Nautilus here and then have the uh, both the other two Nautiluses and go like Riptide, Riptide. But then then we just Atrocity with that. So I kind of think we have everything covered. Oh, blockers. I guess we don't have blocker covered. Uh, 
Ah, Zoe has Challenger. That'll work. I forgot. Zoe has Challenger with all these other keywords. Yeah. Okay. So we didn't draw Pursuit of Perfection, but we still just saw how good both Zoe and Heimer are in that game. Okay, Lucian Azir. Yeah, so many so many created cards and everything. There's lots and lots of decisions with this game. Or with this deck, sorry. With this deck. So not an easy one to play. Alright, we had to pay full price for our suit up. Silence a follower could be nice. But so is the Charger. I like both the Charger and Equinox. Yeah, you know, Silence a Follower basically against like their scouts. You know, like Grizzled Ranger, even against like the 4-6 or Scythria. Like any of those things are nice to silence. I think it's pretty likely they have those cards. With them not doing anything. Wow. What is going on? Slow down, will you? Yep. There's Grizzled Ranger. <laughs> no, I, I'm not a Spanish speaker, no. Um, as far as like responding to them on YouTube, I just uh, use Google Translate. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll respond to different languages. You know, Portuguese, Spanish, Russian. Sometimes I just use Google Translate and hope that it's close. I, I kind of, you know, like I do like the double check, right? Like, so I, I type it in and then I have it go the other way. So like if, you know, if it was that in Spanish, what does it say? And I, I try to have it pretty close. Okay, I like the Crescent Strike also with another, you know, or Equinox. I like both of those, but want to get cards with different names. Maybe we get this Crescent Strike, slow them down for a turn. I can see that putting in some good work for us. Um. We're at five now. Because I think that this, this is going to be... I think there's a very good chance that this is Sharp Sight, right? Like, they're holding Sharp Sight. So I don't think just, like, attacking with Zoe is, like, the thing I necessarily want to do right away. All right, Beachy Rise, thanks for the donation deck. I'll write that down here after this. So I definitely want to level up the Zoe. Where are we at? We're at six. Witness perfection, meat bags. I've got your back. Oh, is this gonna be a rally card? Okay, no rally card. What's up, Heimer? Um, I guess I still probably should have just killed this. Leap Feather Trucker. Yep. Should have gone on Thermogenic Beam on it. Begin 
All right, so that was again a mistake by me with uh, not trying to kill that challenger first. Yeah, there's a lot of yeah, there's a lot of good stuff going on with this deck. Lots of good options. Not not real easy to play because you have just so many options. <clears throat> All right, so sharp sight test. They just played one sharp sight last turn. Do they have another? Yes, they do. I was gonna say. Can you improve perfection? Hey, Zoe. Azir welcomes all his subjects. Let's go with the double stun. Okay, yeah, that's still four. I thought I played that after Zoe. Yeah, yeah. All right, so that levels up Heimer. That thing's not leveled up yet? That's surprising. That's number five. That's number six. That's number seven. There, just need like a gate, a guiding touch, pale cascade combo for nine ten. So these will turn into five fours. I also just take six. Now I'm gonna be replacing things. We'll block one. Destiny's call. Yes, yes, again. The emperor commands. The land obeys. All right, so that's leveled up, Zoe. Honor, guide me. 
All right, let's do some block in. Block. That's alright, Ballistic Bot. Y'all y'all did your job. I guess I can try to keep you alive. No difference between whichever one. Okay. And we're gonna have like more free units, fill the board back up. Heimerdinger is really good. Oh, Jarvin Shen! Yo! That's my deck. Jarvin Shen. Alright, well, they have great spells that I can take with this thing. We need our champions, though, of course. I'm still gonna mulligan it. We'll keep the Thermogenic Beam. And. Cool. Find our champions. It's not necessarily the best Zoe matchup because of challengers and sharp sight and stuff. That's life. If Zoe trades with Sharp Sight, that's me trading a one mana card for a two mana card. Do that right now. Waters are still. Wonderful find pursuit of perfection in this game. Timer. Timer. The eye of twilight sees all. Uh oh. That is certainly the best card in their deck. That's a good card. Can you improve perfection? Who does not know the name Laurent? I don't like our chances in this game. I do not like them one bit. So I go. Basically not letting them get a free single combat. If they have single combat, we're in kind of lose anyway. So maybe I should just block the Shen, turn Shen into a 3-4. Okay, them not killing the Heimerdinger right here, definitely big for us. Very important. Can you improve perfection? So if I play Progress Day, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we do have room for the three cards and the 8-8. Eight, eight. Because I'm playing the 8-8 eight, eight levels up the Heimerdinger. Sorry, I can still get to 8 and level up Heimer with like these three cards. And not play Progress Day. It's probably better. Getting towards this pursuit of perfection. perfection. We have to figure out how to get another celestial card for the supernova. But we're getting there. Safety is 
Don't know how that's gonna happen. I was getting another celestial card. I have to figure it out. Fight for your king. Nature blesses her followers. If they don't have another, you know, sharp sight. We're good. Ah, they did have another sharp sight. Alright, so that thing's gonna stay alive. So I, so I can kill Shen, which we gotta do. So we'll have the 2 7 2 still. So I'll have to figure out how to deal with some 7 2s. They've used two sharp sights, as far as Zoe is concerned. I kind of need that Celestial card. kind of needed that. Alright, well, we still have the progress day. They're running out of cards. Love the sunburst draw. Love that sunburst draw. Definitely want to get rid of this river shape before they start drawing more spells. Don't want them drawing cards. Because, yeah, like, if that last card's just barrier, this doesn't... Yeah, that doesn't work, my man. I'm sorry. Alright, so we, we just got a barrier out of their hand. They didn't realize that's not how that, you know, that silence happens first. We're at 17. Our pursuit of perfection is ever closer. We're at 18. Let's go. Are we going to get there? 19. Oh, that's fine. That's, that's good. We are going to get there. Scrap dash. Assembly. That's number 20. Our pursuit of perfection. And there we go. Big flex. That's a big flex right there. And we did it. Boom. 30 30 overwhelm. We did it. We're 3 0. Lulu. Lulu Jinx. I like it. Pun's playing some Lulu. Gone. I mean, I kind of need this to kill Lulu's, but, you know, to kill Lulu and Jinx. But we'll mulligan those. Alright, got a couple aftershocks. This is definitely our worst hand so far, right? Like we've been we've been pretty lucky with our opening hands so far, to be honest. Um this one's a little rough. I did have a nice 1, 2, 3 curve, but we had the removal for the Lulu. So I think we had turn three or turn one Zoe in all the other games, and that's going to make our deck look a lot better whenever we have turn one Zoe. Okay, well, 
Okay, ah. I don't think star shaping is worth the two mana right now, where we're at. That two mana is too important. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Alright. We had two mana, they were able to empty their hands. I guess, you know, obviously I had that sunburst. I wanted to save mana, but... Okay, well, our deck isn't perfect all the time. Not always perfect. I think we still had like like I think if I just if I just cast especially looking like what the last couple cards in their hand was I think if I just cast this on burst I I honestly think we probably win that game I think that was um, a really big mistake. Ooh, this may be our toughest matchup we face so far because they because of overwhelm, really big things in overwhelm. Hush important, sunburst important, but we need to start better than what we have. I guess I'll keep Poro Cannon to make two little one ones. Kind of see what to discard. All right, the flash. I would like to use Static Shock on the Omen Hawk. I don't really want to block it. Great draw with the Thermogenic Beam. But I don't always get what I want. I also want to have a very high life total. So the Sunburst is just going to kill this, like, no matter what. Where, like, the Thermogenic Beam, I don't know, though, I like, Troll Chant could have protected it. If I hush Heimer, do I make a 3-1? I guess the answer would be no. But I'm also not exactly sure. We do have a backup Heimer. Saw that a mile away. Yeah. Disintegrate. Yeah, I think that answer would have been no if we would have hushed the Heimer. I think that would have been no. Bakai Sand Spinner. Obviously. I gotta play a spell and get a 3-1. I wanted this for Ruin Runner, but that's perfectly fine with me. Because I could just, you know, like this thing's just a generic thing that's easy to block. So I'm, I'm happy to get Troll Chant out of their hand. So 
So if I hush... I wonder, I wonder if that like goes towards that level up. I don't know. I would think so. I think it would still go to four. But I'm not completely positive. More ch cool chance are a problem. They had a great hand. Double sand spinner, double Renekton. Double full chant. You can do this on enemies. <laughs> enemies like really big, turn it into a 4 4. Alright, leveled up timer. But still, this is obviously really scary, especially these. He's like star shaping. Nah. Gosh, really? Yeah, no mercy, that's for sure. Let's see, what are my blocks look looking like? Kind of, kind of gross. Kind of gross. Um, yeah, we're not far away from Masters. I think we're in Diamond 1. 2 out of 5. Okay. Star Shaping's what's up. More sense just to do this. Maybe I should have got the other nine drop. Alright, I kind of saved that Pale Cascade to see if they did something. my bluff. I shouldn't attack with that thing either. That's all right. We'll be fine. Yeah. Oh. All right. They called it. Okay, so I definitely think that that card, yeah, isn't anything of too much con too much consequence. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's something, or at least something they couldn't play. Twenty-four out of twenty on our pursuit of perfection, but 
But man, we weren't able to do it because we had our elusives they conceded. Dude, our deck was awesome. Four and one, and really just, you know, like, the, we just had, like, one just, like, game where our deck just kind of failed, which is going to happen. Um, and, but still, even though, like, we had the one game where our deck failed, I think that, you know, I, I played, like, that Aftershock on the Jinx, where if I play the Sunburst on the Jinx instead, like, they just, my opponent only had, like, a bunch of 1-1s, one and we had, like, a Star I think we could have probably been fine, so who knows, maybe, maybe a 5-0 if I just make that one little decision, it you know, different. Which makes it, that's why it's so hard to get a 5-0, right? It's hard to win five in a row because you make one little decision like that wrong. And this deck has tons and tons of decisions because you have so many cards at all times. You create so many cards. It is difficult to sequence, for sure. But you saw how I really prioritized trying to get Heimerdinger in play, like you saw that with that last game and with some of the others. They just try to get Heimerdinger in play because once you do, all those turrets are are really insane. Heimerdinger is incredible. That was kind of the takeaway from these games was just <laughs> Heimerdinger was just wrecking, just getting so many turrets. Um, and yeah. <laughs> um, and it's, it, yeah, it's, it's, it wasn't really like Zoe and Celestials. Like that's obviously really good too. And that helped, but it was really Heim like Heimer was the heart of this deck. That's why we were winning the games. Yeah, Heimer is the new Aphelios. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, so there we go. So that's that's Heimer, Zoe, Pursuit. We did get to, against the uh, Shen deck, we did get to Pursue Perfection, and we did get to play the Catastrophe. I just have to say that overall, I was really, really impressed with this deck, because like this was ranked, and we played good decks. You know, like that that Renekton, Renekton, Renekton. okay, I'm, I'm still getting used to saying it like that, Renekton. That Renekton Sejuani deck, is no joke and they had a good hand too and that that deck hits hard that deck's no joke then you had you had uh the jarvan shen deck they also had a very good hand um you know curving out with river shaper into shen good spells they had jarvan come in attacking you know they had what that deck wants to the, the only thing like they didn't have the five mana challenger dragon that was the big thing that since they didn't have that dragon we had a chance but if they would have curved out like they did and also had that dragon we would not have won that game, but they didn't have they didn't have it all, so they didn't have the dragon. Um, but then you know we played against Lucian Azir, which had good Lucian Azir stuff. You know, like we we played against aggro, mid range, um, everything, and uh, it looked good. It looked really good. We played against Control with the deep deck. But yeah, I have to say that um, I was really impressed with how well how versatile this deck was and how well it did. Now we had turn one Zoe in what four of the five games is that right did we win did, did we just have four out of no 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 three out of five okay never mind we didn't the very last game either so three out of the five games we had turn one zoe i think and so that certainly helped we had heimerdinger quite a bit that certainly helped but you know your champions are good that's that's like the point of the game right like you, your deck's going to be better with your champions than when you don't have them okay but uh anyway that's a uh, Heimer Zoe Pursuit. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck, if you enjoyed it. This was a deck from uh, a, v a viewer on stream, Nathan. Um, he's the one that donate made this deck and donated it, and it looked great. It, it looked really good. Um, I could see maybe some Mystic Shots in here. Maybe not two Spell Thieves. Maybe like one Spell Thief, one Mystic Shot. Spell Thief wasn't really a card that I felt like I really wanted that much of, but it is another way to get like two, you know, spells for Zoe and Heimer and that kind of stuff. But it did kind of feel like maybe we could have a Mystic Shot. A Mystic Shot sounds kind of good. I think that's what I'd probably play one Mystic Shot, one Spell Thief. <laughs> All right, but anyway, that's it here for Heimer, Zoe, Pursuit. So thank you so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you for the next video.